Hi everyone, welcome to today's tutorial and in this video, I will be showing you on how you can create this mouse. So as you can recognize that this mouse is usually used when uh, when you're using a when you when you are using your computer or your map or your laptop right so let's see how we can recreate this to do this we will be creating a new document so i will be going on new and like that okay for this video i will be using this a4 size document which is 210 millimeters by 297 millimeters I let the orientation be portrait and I will rename my document to mouse and click on create. Alright, so before I start, I would also like to make sure that I'm in the right window, which is this essential classics options right here. Then only I will be able to see all these tools and be able to create this illustration right so the first thing i'm gonna do is to make the make the main body of this mouse to do that i will be using this rectangle tool <clears throat> i do not really require the fill for now i will be adding in the colors a lot later and i let the stroke be black so what i'm gonna do is click on shift and all to create a really big square and I want to extend this a little to make a rectangle so I'll just make it like this and just drag from the bottom as well okay if you want we can also make this a little bit thinner and just bring this rectangle to the center of our document like that and now you see these circles at right in front of each anchor point. So these circles will actually help us to round off our round off our rectangle. So I'll select any of these circles and just bring it inwards like that. I don't want it to be too round, too round, but somehow still look like a rectangle but still have rounded edges so i'll just stick with this right and i'll resize this a little bit more since mouses they're not that long in length as well so let's move this a little bit more closer like that okay so now the next thing we want to do is to create this roller which helps into going upwards and downwards in our document right so i'll go back to the rectangle tool again and just click and drag to make a really thin rectangle and that i'll zoom in to get a better view of this rectangle we just made and of course round off the edges fully like that so as you can see this roller is not centrally aligned with this body right so to do that i'll select both these objects go to this align panel right here and i'll click on this horizontal align center and as you can see now it's right in the middle of our shape like that so what i'll do next is that i'll create the this line to do that i'll be using this line segment tool and create one line going across like that and another one going across I'll bring this line a little bit more upwards to do that I'll select this line and use the up arrow key to bring it up like this now since I do not require some of these portions right 
I'll select all of them again. Oops. I'll select all this again. Go to this shape builder tool and click on alt and as you can see the plus the plus sign becomes into minus and just deselect the portions that we don't need like that now once that's done i'll now make this portion this part as well do that i'll go to this rectangle tool and make one rectangle like this i'll zoom on on this part i'll use the direct selection tool to select this anchor point click on shift to select this other anchor point as well and just round it off completely like that i'll also reduce the size a little like this now to make sure that this is completely in the right in the middle of our shape i'll select all of them again go to the align panel and click on horizontal align center like that now it's right in the middle hey right. i'll select this again and then just bring it down a little bit more to make it smaller like that Now once that's done and let's go ahead and make this wire as well to do that i will be using the pen tool and just move and make it curvy like that it doesn't have to be perfect and that's perfectly fine like this and once you're done click on escape to get rid of the pen tool like Now let's go ahead and make this line a little bit more thicker. I'll use two like that, and I'll also go ahead and select this line. Click on Shift to select multiple lines, and make it a little bit more thicker. We'll choose two like that. go ahead select these lines again and change the color of the stroke since it's black i want these lines to be white to do that we'll go to the stroke color right here and click on white and i'll go ahead and select the body first since i want to now fill it in with color i'll go over here to this fill option and select this light shade of light gray like this select the select the roller as well and i'll choose a little bit more darker shade of gray similarly with this one as well like that and now we can go ahead and also remove this stroke i'll select the, select the body this portion and the roller and i will remove the stroke like that so now our mouse is ready so now we can go ahead and save our document to do that we'll go to file click on save as and and as you can see that a document by default gets saved as in an in an adobe illustrator file i highly suggest that we save a document in this format so that in case if i want to make any further changes i can easily access my adobe illustrator file i let the file name be mouse as it is and you can go ahead and sa uh, save it wherever you want to be it inside a file that you already have created or on your desktop wherever you want to and we'll click on save and okay and there you go a document is now successfully saved as an adobe illustrator file to make sure that it is so over here right in front of our document name mouse this dot ai comes in 
which means that this is now an Adobe Illustrator file format. And now we can just close this and that's it. Our illustration is now ready and it's all and successfully saved. So now that we've come to the end of this video, I hope you found this tutorial to be useful and with a little practice, you can make more things on Adobe Illustrator. So thank you for watching and keep practicing.